right, Knife Community, look at what we got here. Uh, guys, you guys know where I get most of my blades out at the flea market off my buddy Lee. He had had this piece last month and I had checked it out and I was like, you know what, if he's got that next month, I'm going to pull the trigger on it. I'm not going to buy any other blades. I'm going to wait. Uh, what I've been doing here lately is just really working on making my purchases count. And this was one I seen that I was like, you know what, this is a purchase I could make and for what he wanted for it and for what he would give it to me for, I, I had to get it. I couldn't let this thing go. Um, this is a 1981 case copperhead. Not a copper lock, but the copper head single blade. So if we look, everyone should know how to date a case. Now, if you're watching the YouTube videos, you probably know how to date a case knife. It, you look at the style of the case and how it's written and how many dots. You subtract that from 1990. We got nine dots. Puts it a 1981 model. We look at the model number here. We got 5149 SSP. So you got the five that's going to stand for stag your one for the amount of blades and the 49 for the model number which is the copperhead designation um, look at the blade centering she's not a definite strike three but she's pretty dang close to a strike three and let's look at the offset on this stag i mean it's not not really really bad but man she just i don't know it just sinks to me so we do have a little gappage right here, which I knew that from the first time I seen this knife about two months ago. And I talked to him and he had had a price of 150 on it. And I was like, hey, you know what? What's your what's your bottom dollar on this? I, I definitely want it. So he gave this to me for $125. So I, I felt comfortable paying that. I handed him the money and we made a sweet little deal. But let's just let's look at this stag right here. boys boys and then let's look at the pile side here nice deep dark groove stag pins are nice and recessed in there same on the show side recessed pinage bolsters are bolsters are, I haven't shined this up I haven't cleaned it I think I may have put some oil on it, the pivot but look at that half stop action I mean, this is this is like GEC half stop action. Now, guys, for a 1981 model case, you just I don't know. Does it get any better than that? You know, I got this. I think this is a 90 model stag case. But man, are you ever going to use something like this? This is a yeah 1990 model. You got to be real careful with this one. <laughs> Gonna be super careful with it but this right here is just I don't know it's just a beautiful blade now these come in at, at three and seven eighths inch closed they're a three and seven eighths inch knife let's check the I love the single blade on this as well your blade length coming in total blade length three inches cut length about what two and two and five eighths probably so, see what she looks like in the hand here. You know, all of it fits. If you wanted to, you could even do a little choking up. Some pinch grip action. Man, I this is something right here. I'm going to be honest with you. I could, I'd probably carry this to like an event or something if I was. No, I wasn't going to be like out in the yard or or doing heavy duty chores this is something i could see myself putting in my pocket in a slip and taking out and carrying and and enjoying it and having a conversation piece on me definitely man let's look at it compared to a uh, copper lock so here's a i believe it's just an amber bone i don't know i bought it bought it used without a box so bought it off lee as well but if you look, your your copper lock's going to be what four and a quarter inches, probably. So it's just a little bit longer. 
single blade as well. Let's just look at the difference here. You know, overall, a lot bigger of a knife, but this right here would definitely serve your needs. This is probably about the same. I don't know. Let's, let's pull out something else and compare it to. Here's another new one I got. I haven't done a video on this yet, but we'll see how it compares to a Sawbuster Junior. So a little longer. So it's kind of like right in between, right in that sweet spot between a Sawbuster Junior and your and your Copper Lock. So let's put this one away because I haven't showed that yet, and I haven't showed this one either. Shoo. Got all these knives I haven't showed yet. <laughs> so, but I figure everyone would get a kick out of this uh, stag one right here because I know I do. I just really enjoy this knife and it's so clean for a 1981 model. You know, I don't know exactly where he had gotten this, but uh, I'm glad I was able to add it to my collection, to say the least. I'm trying to think of something it would compare to. I don't know. It's, we've got this thing. Mini Trapper. It's definitely larger than a Mini Trapper. Definitely going to be smaller than a regular Trapper. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a lot to. And there it is compared to a 47. Oh, there we go. So here, here's something that kind of compares to in, in length. So let's pull this one out. I got all these blades out. I should have done this before I started the video, but you know, I'm just kind of winging it today and having fun. It's Saturday morning. I already did my did a couple of videos last night on Friday night. And it's Saturday morning. I'll probably release this sometime in the following week. But if we look overall length, you're gonna get probably another three sixteenths uh, an inch out of the total length because of the blade. So there they are. I mean, it's fairly close. I mean, I love the size of this is just, like I said, it's kind of in that sweet spot between your, between the size of a mini trapper and a, uh, or the sod buster and your, your regular copper lock that everyone's going bananas for here lately. All right, guys, look at it. Let's look at it one last time before we, we weigh it. I want to weigh it. Let's get a weight on it. Got so much stuff on this mat here. So she's on ounces. Well, that ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to move Doom Cruise Cigar. Let's put it up there. 2.55 ounces on that one. Let's see how much this bone copper lock is. 2.9 ounces. So 2.6, well, 2.6 ounces. 2.9 let's check out this soddy here two ounces so again it's right in the middle it's right in kind of a sweet spot very comparable to that mini trapper yeah guys I don't know all right guys we're at we're over eight minutes already I figured I'd shoot this just take my time this is my second take on making this video um, because I just I don't know I wasn't happy with the, how the first one was going because I I just wanted to to make sure I did this knife justice because this is one that I was kind of patient with getting and when I got it I am just excited to have it man again we got some gappage right there but for I could care less honestly I'm sick of caring about every little gap and blade centering and this and that you know Something like this right here is, I mean, it's just a beautiful blade. Just, just beautiful, guys. So anyway, I'll probably release this the following week. So we're not going to have a happy hour live chat on Christmas Eve. Um, but we're going to have one New Year's Eve. And that's when we'll do the drawing for the December raffles. Uh, and there's two great packages in that. Um, then we're going to start up a... Uh, January raffle and in that one you're actually gonna be able to win one of these blades with a slip a matching slip from uh, Kent Over at KJ Leatherworks man. That's that's exciting again. Happy hour live chat Every uh, Sunday 530 Eastern 430 Central be sure you guys hop on that We are all the time giving away blades and prizes and stuff 
thanks to the community that supports us. Um, so yeah, get over there, check that out. And uh, it's just a great time. Myself and Boston Blade Reviews host that, and we usually have a guest at least three weeks out of the month. And uh, it's just fun, man. It is fun. You guys in the live chat, you guys blow that up. Jersey Knife guys in there just holding it down. And there's a lot of other ones. Baxter's Blade. I, I hate to name people because I'll miss somebody. Terry's Knives and Man stuff. I don't know. It's just crazy. It is It is just a fun time. Again, here's a here's another look at her, guys. One last look before I put her away. Put her away for the winter. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Why out there, stay sharp. And stay